Hi there. Um, I'm just going to show you a small short video of a uh, tool that I built from memory uh, from about oh, 40 or 50 years ago and um, uh, it incorporates a uh, sliding dovetail block on a horizontal sliding on a horizontal uh, arm and um, uh, if I can show you it, it's just a friction contact and you can move it in and you can move it back both ways um, uh, it also allows you to move the dial indicator and this is just a, a locking, a locking uh, screw um, to hold the um, dial indicator in a certain certain position. And um, when it's extended out, say like so, it gives you uh, quite a swing. Uh, usually sufficient for small work anyway um, this is a kind of a a uh, dial indicator holder that we used uh, back in in the 60s 70s and um, I'm sure they were used before that even uh, but uh, it was it came about when I was I did a three-year stint at uh, jig boring um, for tools and dies and um, this was the setup that we used to use um, to dial our uh, parts in uh, find edges that kind of thing and so I use it um, occasionally I use it um, uh, in this case I'm gonna try and find the center of this brass bar half inch bar in the vise uh, so that I can find the exact center. Um, normally I'd use a uh, a wobbler uh, of some kind. Um, I don't have any electronic gear. So usually if it's not too important I'll use a wobbler. But um, I built this uh, because I'd seen something similar that is on the market and it's so damn big it's built for bridge ports and mills of that size that it just doesn't work very well on a TAG machine so um, I, I went back in my memory and uh, I came up with with this uh, size unit uh, which is in keeping with the rest of the machine and um, it works very well and I use it um, uh, when I use it um, I'll, I'll put the the indicator in, in a certain spot say for instance uh, uh, on this edge here and I'll wind it down um, until it makes contact I'll just put the bar a little further along and uh, just wind it down until it uh, until it will touch the I've probably got the camera in the wrong area for you to see properly but um, what I do is uh, I'm going to go up a bit and make contact and so what I do is if you can see that you can see the I'm rocking the unit backwards and forwards and it reaches a high point and then it drops back again or it rises again and when you reach that low spot where it, it changes direction or, or hovers you've actually found the the length on that end 
at that face. So then, um, obviously, I'll wind it up and then uh, swing it round to this size and do the same thing at that end and adjust the x axis accordingly. This is not an easy thing to do because I've got a big hole in there and there's not much area. Um, but I just thought I'd show you that. Um, it's a nice little it's a nice little tool. Um, it's ideal size for a for a small uh, machine like the Tag or Sherline or any of the other mini lathes, uh, mini mills. Um, and it's uh, it's something that was used 50 years ago, even longer than that probably. Uh, in the jig boring uh, department uh, to find edges and to find holes. Moors actually have a block that you can place on a flat surface here and it has a little aperture right in the center on a, on a horizontal bar that a plate and what you do is you drop your, dial, your stylus down inside the aperture and when you turn this and it registers zero at the same point on the dial in 180 degree uh, positions then you know that you've found exactly that edge right at you're right on the center line of, of the edge that you that you have the block on so um, it's uh, until the electronic age came along I'm sure um, that's the only thing that you could do to to find um, uh, exactly a certain point on a job that you would be like just like a tooling hole um, uh, you, you might use a tooling hole as your datum or you might use the edge as a datum usually you used uh, a corner uh, on the X and Y axis and you worked everything out from there your holes uh, you listed uh, uh, the dimensions and the holes on a on a on a paper on a form, and and then you moved everything uh, in one direction, uh, which eliminated any backlash, and uh, you worked from a corner, the bottom left corner, or the top left corner, or vice versa, whichever whichever way you um, you worked. That, that was. It was a learning experience and it's something that you were taught as an apprentice and and so um, I just thought I'd show you that. Anyway, thank you.